is not all that good and not all that good is not all that good. I've got a few things to say here real quick, and then uh, I'll be ha handing over to Commissioner Storm, who is the uh, Commissioner of Fish and Wildlife. But today's unveiling will be observed by the accounting firm of Blue & Company. Blue & Company is a regional firm with over 400 professionals serving clients in Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. Blue & Company has been engaged by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources to verify the results of the 2020 elk drought. Uh, we received the, the information here at the MAC uh, Thursday. So uh, it's, it's been really tight-lipped, and we're, we're glad for that because we want people watching our shows here. So uh, I got to tell you that uh, I met uh, Commissioner Storm, and uh, immediately you could tell he's a guy that really cares what's going on. He cares about the sportsmen. He cares about taking care of our wildlife, doing things, managing things in a proper way. So... Not only is I, we become professional uh, interactions, we have professional interactions, but I've also considered him a friend. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring up Commissioner Storm. We're gonna practice our social distancing. As he comes in, I'll go away. Thank you, Les. Uh, thank you for the kind words. It's my pleasure to be here today in a, a place I'm very fond of here in Eastern Kentucky. I wanna thank everybody that's viewing around the world for the unveiling of our 2020 Kentucky elk, elk hunt. We're so glad that you tuned in. Um, on a somber note, I, I would like to uh, recognize that uh, the head of our Kentucky Elk Guides Association is a guy named Donald Thomas. He recently lost his 15-year-old son, Dakota. And if you would, just uh, bow your heads with me in a moment of silence. Prayers and best wishes to the Thomas family. We'll give a special thanks today for Commissioners uh, Carl Kleiner and Paul Horn, who took the time to be here today just to support the elk program. They have elk in their districts. It means a lot to these guys uh, that, that we're doing this today, and, and we are protectors of the resource, and with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, we're very excited about the direction of our elk program. Again, uh, Prestonsburg, beautiful, beautiful place to be, the home of coal. Uh, some of the best music in the world, bluegrass and country music, a lot of good shows here at the Mountain Arts Center. We're, we're uh, excited to be here. We want to thank Dr. Sher Sherry Zilka, the President and CEO of Big Sandy Community and Technical College, for helping us with this today. She's going to read off a lot of names with Les. All the talented staff that here at uh, Mountain Arts Center, a great facility, and we look forward to future events here. Another special thanks that I want to say is to our former commission members, our, our former and, and present uh, uh, staff that had the foresight and the courage to put elk here in Kentucky. Uh, what a challenge it would be today to pull off such a feat. And we are thankful that you all had the courage to do that years ago, and, and uh, we, we can't thank you enough. This year, this fall, marks the 20th anniversary of our Kentucky elk hunt. Next fall, we'll be celebrating our 25th anniversary of the restoration project. And I've got a short story that I'll, I'll share at the end about a personal experience. First, I want you to know that conservation matters to the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, and your applications matter. So when you apply, you're supporting our agency and you're supporting the management of the Kentucky elk herd. 
these revenues are used as state matching funds and they're vital in us obtaining federal grants and match dollars that we can do habitat projects and public access projects within the elk zone. The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife receives no state tax dollars, so that means these programs don't pay for their sale. So when you apply, you're supporting an important cause and we're, we're grateful for it. Second, I want you to know that we go to great lengths to ensure accuracy and integrity for the, for the elk drawing. For transparency and promoting public trust, here's how it works. We have a three-step process in play. The department pays a third-party information technology contractor to conduct a random computer drawing. The department then pays a separate independent accounting company to audit and certify the results. The third thing, the auditor, the auditing firm delivers these sealed results to the city of Prestonsburg for this very public drawing that we're having. And we're very excited about this. And here's what we want to say about the process for applicants. Anyone can be drawn. That's the beauty of this thing. The random nature of this drawing ensures equal opportunity. Whether you're a long time applicant or first time applicant, you can be drawn. We had people present here last year that were drawn for this hunt. Whether you've applied every year or you just learned about the hunt, you have a chance to hunt elk in the state of Kentucky, regardless of your age, gender, background, or who you are, who you know. Less than 100 people have applied every year for this drawing and have not been drawn. We've got a little bit more to say about that. Lastly, I want to I want to get in a little bit about our herd uh, and explain that to the public. Um, we've got a 16 county elk zone that's over four million acres. That's twice the size of Yellowstone National Park. Kentucky's wild herd is larger than all the combined elk herds in all the other states east of the Mississippi. The department received 1,550 elk from six states, a great uh, partnership, Arizona, Kansas, North Dakota, New Mexico, Oregon, and Utah to make our herd work. Since then, we've had consecutive permit numbers allowing the herd to grow and expand across the, the elk zone. And these permits are very important. To add, what has Kentucky done to pay it forward for these 1,550 animals? We have given 322 elk to three states so that they too could establish their, their elk herd, Virginia, Missouri, and Wisconsin from 2010 until 2019. You may have seen our staff out with helicopters netting and capturing elk. We're proud of these efforts. We're, we're again working on transparency, great communication with the public. These efforts to trap these animals or to collar these animals, which we're moving within Kentucky's elk zone. There are no projects in place to trade with any other states currently. We're focused on growing the elk herd in Kentucky and expanding its reach and filling the gaps within the, the zone. Our first hunt happened in 2001. 12 people were drawn. 20 years later, we're here today and we're gonna draw approximately 600 names. 175,000 people have applied since 2001. We've drawn about 10,000 permits to today, to the date. Over 90% will be drawn from Kentucky today and less than 10% will be drawn that are non-residents. Less than 1% of our applicants have been drawn for more than one permit over this span. We've also listened to applicants. And based on your feedback and surveys of applications, we've created a three year sit out period. So we don't have people that are drawn on consecutive years. Next week, we're gonna to propose to our commission a fair way to reward those that have been consistent with us over time. And I'll just tell you to stay tuned. I really believe in this in this program. Our hunters 
have been very successful in Kentucky. Those numbers have declined over the last several years as far as success, but we still enjoy some of the highest success rates in the country, if not the highest. 40% is our success rate. Most Western states are 10 to 25% when it comes to success. We're proud of that. Four of the top 10 antler scored bulls have been taken in the last five years. And on average in a recent survey, our average elk hunter saw 15 elk during their elk hunt. We're proud of that. Um, I've got a picture to share and, and a short story and I'll wrap up. I hope you can see that picture on your screen. But I be became acquainted with the first drawn Kentucky elk hunter that harvested an animal in, in 2001. Tracy Cerise met him in a dove field. Just an average guy that uh, applied and he was uh, very above average when he was drawn. Uh, I think this is a great photo. Uh, it tells a story about the history of our state he was the first person to harvest an elk in over 150 years in our great state, in our great commonwealth. I, I just thought it was fitting to share because this is part of a great story. And when we think about the elk herd today, it's, it's hard for us to imagine what the next 20 years or longer will look like. But that opportunity for your kids and your grandkids exists. We're very proud of that. And I think more opportunity will exist in the future. And in closing, I say to you, I hope you're healthy, I hope you're well, I hope your family's blessed, and good luck today in our elk drawing, and thank you, Mayor Stapleton, for the time to be here on the stage. All right, one other announcement. In addition to this live stream, please visit fw.ky.gov and by Wednesday, May the 20th, you will be able to access the My Profile section to see if you were drawn. Let's begin and I have the youth hunt, either sex. Landon Childers, New Haven, Kentucky. Clay Bales, London, Kentucky. Austin Bourne, Owenton, Kentucky. Robert Burchett, Sayersville, Kentucky. Caleb Cooper, Moorhead, Kentucky. Gunner Corey, London, Kentucky. All right, technical difficulties. Notice I stepped out of the way and know nothing about it. So uh, we're okay up there now.
All right, good deal. Either sex youth is the, what will be announced now. The first one is Landon Childers, New Haven, Kentucky. Clay Bells, London, Kentucky. Austin Bourne, Owenton, Kentucky. Robert Burchett, Sayersville, Kentucky. Caleb Cooper, Moorhead, Kentucky. Gunner Corey, London, Kentucky. James Cotton, Hanson, Kentucky. Luke Hoover, Shepherdsville, Kentucky. Caden Isaac, Jackhorn, Kentucky. Dylan Kilmar, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Cameron Kilgore, Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Grayson Mollett, Millett, Tomahawk, Kentucky. Bennett Montgomery, Starkville, Mississippi. Levi No, Cox Creek, Kentucky. Hunter Peace, Holmes Mill, Kentucky. Isaiah Phillips, Monticello, Kentucky. Cashton Ration, Prairie du Sac, Wisconsin. Katie Sparks, Jeffersonville, Kentucky. Carter Stevens, Greenup, Kentucky. Aubrey Swafford, London, Kentucky. Jack Tockich, Brandenburg, Kentucky. Avery Thompson, Princeton, Kentucky. Claire Wheatley, Louisville, Kentucky. Daryl Williamson, Cumberland, Kentucky. Claiber Wolf, DeMossville, Kentucky. And that ends the uh, either sex youth hunt. In just a minute, uh, Dr. Sherry Zilka will be coming up to read uh, the next ones, and uh, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you. Hey, Kentucky. Oh, I know it's been a while. I've missed those rolling hills in your bluegrass, blue skies. and history all come together on the Country Music Highway. Visit cmh23.com and plan your next vacation. A satellite signal? A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country and their call center We'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call Cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. Overhead Door, a garage door company that has been with your family from the beginning through all the ups and downs of life. From the small repairs to making your vision a reality. Overhead Door, your trusted garage door expert since 1921. Be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door service.
Welcome back to the Elk Draw Reveal uh, for 2020. Uh, the next young lady. We have an agreement. It's a partnership with them and we work together here. And the Mountain Art Center is now an accredited part of the school system, which is great because we can add stuff to our music lessons, to our music sources that we have, and we can help the, some of the kids get an education in music. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring her up, but in addition to this live stream, I gotta read this every time. Please visit fw.ky.gov and by Wednesday, May the 20th, you will be able to access the My Profile section to see if you were drawn. Dr. Sherry Zilka, President of Big Sandy Community and Technical College. Thank you, Mayor Stapleton. And I apologize in advance for anybody's name that I mess up. But first of all, this is for either sex archery, Regina Adams, Richmond, Kentucky. James Adkins, Hartford, Kentucky. James Alberton, Wetumpka, Alabama. Roger Aldridge, Jr., Richmond, Kentucky. James Amrine, Louisville, Kentucky. Trevor Bailey, Calvert City, Kentucky. Crystal Bailey, Calvert City, Kentucky. Frank Baker, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Jeffrey Ball, Honaker, Virginia. Joseph Ball III, Shepherdsville, Kentucky. Jason Ballard, New Haven, Kentucky. Walt Bell, Duncan, Mississippi. Larry Berry, Carlisle, Kentucky. Paul Blackburn, Prospect, Kentucky. Joseph Blanton, Lexington, Kentucky. Timothy Bocook, Nicholsville, Kentucky. John Boykin, Jr., Cross Plains, Indiana. Dustin Bradford, Frankfort, Kentucky. John Bradley, Bloomfield, Kentucky. Joseph Brady, Lebanon, Kentucky. Bo Brasil, Bowling Green, Kentucky. James Bridges, East Bernstad, Kentucky. Mitchell Brinsky, Lewis Run, Pennsylvania. Kevin Bryan, Villa Hills, Kentucky. Brett Utel, Coleraine Township, Ohio. Brian Burnott, Shelbyana, Kentucky. Cody Calvert, Lancaster, Kentucky. Jacob Carnine, Benton, Kentucky. Zachary Castle, Flat Gap, Kentucky. Preston Cecil, Frankfort, Kentucky. Dwight Clark, Lewisport, Kentucky. Gregory Kleins, Cynthiana, Kentucky. Christopher Collins, Hindman, Kentucky. Nathan Cornwell, Smithsgrove, Kentucky. Colin Crabtree, Pine Knot, Kentucky. Roger Davis, Cunningham, Kentucky. Rebecca Day, Corbin, Kentucky. Ray Dinzer, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Patrick Durbin, Springfield, Kentucky. Jonathan S. Stepp, Harlan, Kentucky. Larry Finn, Kemblesville, Kentucky. Robert Fisher, Louisville, Kentucky. Jake Forshee, Verona, Kentucky. Tony Fraley, Jackson, Kentucky. Christopher Fultz, Olive Hill, Kentucky. Manuel Galaviz, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Jared Gardner, Hodgenville, Kentucky. Alicia Garland, Nancy, Kentucky. Chelsea Garland, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Stephen Gastineau, Somerset, Kentucky. Leonard Garachi, Villa Hills, Kentucky. John Goble, Langley, Kentucky. David Graham, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Richard Gray, LaGrange, Kentucky. Kara Green, Maysville, Kentucky. Joshua Green, Blaine, Kentucky. Marissa Greer, Lexington, Kentucky. William Guy, Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Jeremy Hacker, Burnside, Kentucky. Lane Hahn, Salvisa, Kentucky. Christopher Hall, Emelina, Kentucky. Ryan Hamilton, Midway, Kentucky. Ricky Hamilton, T. Berry, Kentucky. 
Randall Hammock, Eubank, Kentucky. Glenn Hance, West Liberty, Kentucky. Jason Harlow, Florence, Kentucky. Cameron Harmon, Pilgrim, Kentucky. Ryan Hart, Jamestown, Kentucky. Robert Hayden III, Louisville, Kentucky. Scott Hayes, Rockholds, Kentucky. Dan Hess, Dry Ridge, Kentucky. Joseph Hicks, Bloomfield, Kentucky. Amy Higdon, Georgetown, Kentucky. Herschel Hissel, Louisville, Kentucky. Jackson Hodge, Hebron, Kentucky. Hebron, Kentucky. Joshua Hogan, Beattiesville, or Beattyville, Kentucky. Andrew Horner, Montrose, Colorado. Christian Horton, Florence, Kentucky. Leon Hosteller, Auburn, Kentucky. Mark Houndshell, Winchester, Kentucky. Cody Howard, Inez, Kentucky. Mark Hunter, Stanton, Kentucky. Patrick Kirk, Elkton, Kentucky. Michael Hyde, Cadiz, Kentucky. Chris Isaac, Jackhorn, Kentucky. Jesse Eisen, Greenup, Kentucky. Lee Jeffrey, Manchester, Kentucky. Eric Johnson, New Haven, Kentucky. Jerry Joyner, Winchester, Kentucky. Stephen Keller, Picayune, Mississippi. Clayton King, Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Paul King, Morgantown, Kentucky. Robert Kipler, Burlington, Kentucky. Terry Lamar, Owensboro, Kentucky. Todd Lancaster, Ekron, Kentucky. Jerry Lewis, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Janice Linville, Frankfort, Kentucky. Harold Littlejohn, Benton, Kentucky. Robert Lockhart, Salem, Kentucky. Allison Lotz, Louisville, Kentucky. Todd Lovins, Cattlesburg, Kentucky. Jason Lucas, Jenkins, Kentucky. Robert Madden, Jr., Owensboro, Kentucky. Joe Marks, Louisville, Kentucky. Matthew McCormick, New Plymouth, Ohio. Rachel McCree, Eddyville, Kentucky. Joseph McCubbin, Campbellsville, Kentucky. Michael McDaniel, Union, Kentucky. Andrew Messer, Buckhorn, Kentucky. Brian Miles, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. David Miller, Munfordville, Kentucky. Stephen Mills, Frankfort, Kentucky. Joshua Monin, Caneyville, Kentucky. Joseph Moore, Hickory, Kentucky. Cameron Mullen, Richmond, Kentucky. Stephen Mullins, Sydney, Kentucky. Gary Myers, Jr., Louisville, Kentucky. Robbie Napier, Stafford, Kentucky. Michael Nickick, Pee Wee Valley, Kentucky. Randy Noah, Cincinnati, Ohio. Estill Nolan, Manchester, Kentucky. John Northern, Richmond, Kentucky. Dennis O'Toole, Glencoe, Kentucky. Jonathan Offerman, Summerfield, Florida. Lisa H. Owens, Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Jonathan Partain, Dunnellan, Florida. Ethan Patton, Glencoe, Kentucky. Kevin Peake, Louisville, Kentucky. Nathaniel Pendley, Williamsburg, Kentucky. Dennis Phelps, Louisville, Kentucky. Leary Pierce, Dry Ridge, Kentucky. Trenton Pike, Rineyville, Kentucky. Arthur Pilsner, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Chandra Porter, Harold, Kentucky. Matthew Prewitt, Paducah, Kentucky. Clayton Rapp, Flemingsburg, Kentucky. Matthew Reffitt, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Michael Reed, Benton, Kentucky. Natalie Rummers, Louisville, Kentucky. Terry Richardson, Frazier's Bottom, West Virginia. Bradley Robbins, Parksville, Kentucky. Christopher Rogers, Bardstown, Kentucky. Michael Salyer, McDowell, Kentucky. Cindy Sanders, Pineville, Kentucky. Daniel Searles, Wilmore, Kentucky. Kurt Sellers, Radnor, Ohio. Michael Sexton, West Liberty, Kentucky. Teddy Shepard, Hueysville, Kentucky. 
Charles Shields, Paducah, Kentucky. John Shrewsbury, Bardstown, Kentucky. Daniel Smith, Boonesville, Kentucky. Randy Smith, David, Kentucky. Jared Smith, Independence, Kentucky. Zachary Smith, Corbin, Kentucky. Emily Stewart, Varney, Kentucky. James Storm, Richmond, Kentucky. Linford Suarez, Flemingsburg, Kentucky. Aaron Tate, Louisville, Kentucky. William Terry, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Hunter Thomas, Russell Springs, Kentucky. Gary Turner, Lost Creek, Kentucky. William Tussey, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Justin Vance, Georgetown, Kentucky. Michael Wallace, Glen Carbon, Illinois. Travis Webb, McKee, Kentucky. Catherine Williamson, Upton, Kentucky. Ashley Wilson, Columbia, Kentucky. Chase Wilson, Georgetown, Kentucky. Christopher Wiseman, Lexington, Kentucky. Chase Woolham, Pineville, Kentucky. Joseph Wright, Louisville, Kentucky. Skylar Wright, Lancaster, Kentucky. Roger Zacker, Coropolis, Pennsylvania. Mark Zarachetti, Providence, Kentucky. And Samer Ziadi, Crestwood, Kentucky. And that concludes my list. Thank you. We're going to take a short break. Hey, Kentucky. Oh, I know it's been a while. I've missed those rolling hills in your bluegrass, blue skies. and history all come together on the Country Music Highway. Visit cmh23.com and plan your next vacation. Here at Microtech Security, we strive to provide peace of mind through a safer, smarter home backed by quality, reliable customer service. We are a local company with local people that are here to serve your home and businesses with the top products in the security industry. We have monitoring services available starting as low as $19.95 a month. Call us today to discuss our bundling options. 606-478-9100. With Microtech, security is a family matter. By now, it's no secret. When you bundle your internet, TV, and phone, you get more with cable. And when you compare the internet speeds that cable delivers, well, there really is no comparison. Get more speed, more options, and value when you bundle Gearhart Internet, HDTV, and phone. Broadband bundles starting at only $100 per month. What are you waiting for? Call Gearhart Broadband at 1-800-635-7052 today. Is, am I doing the whole cow firearm or I'm doing one week, she's doing second? We're back. All right, I see a thumbs up up there. All right, help draw.
Strong. Hope everybody's watching. In addition to this live stream, please visit fw.ky.gov and by Wednesday, May the 20th, you will be able to access the My Profile section to see if you were drawn. We're about to go into Cal Firearm, week one. Zachary Adams, Guston, Kentucky. Abigail Alexander, Corneth, Kentucky. Thomas Alstadt, Louisville, Kentucky. Sean Armstrong, Dayton, Kentucky. Vest Baker, Saxton, Missouri. Seth Brandon, Benton, Kentucky. Billy Brock, Essie, Kentucky. Cody Boblet, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Kyle Bukowski, Lancaster, Ohio. Jesse Byler, Crab Orchard, Kentucky. Caleb Bradley, Olive Hill, Kentucky. Nancy Cristanio, Lexington, Kentucky. Robert Cornett, Hyman, Kentucky. Ronald Arnold, Salt Lake, Kentucky. Nathan Carter, Hebron, Kentucky. Gunnar Coots, East Bernstadt, Kentucky. Shane Brady, Paducah, Kentucky. Alexander Brand, Florence, Kentucky. Cody Brown, New Liberty, Kentucky. Joseph Bryant, McKee, Kentucky. Blevin Campbell, Barberville, Kentucky. Hunter Cassidy, Franklin, Kentucky. Gary Catron, Forest Hills, Kentucky. Jimmy Chestnut, Manchester, Kentucky. James Childs, Cadiz, Kentucky. Michael Cottingham, Edgewood, Kentucky. Gannon Crump, Barry, Kentucky. Kenneth Davis, Jr., Winchester, Kentucky. Theresa DeWitt, Russell Springs, Kentucky. Charles Dillard, Lancaster, Kentucky. Jessica Dishman, California, Kentucky. Clinton Divin, Shelbyville, Kentucky. Renan J. Dome, Harrodsburg, Kentucky. David Doggett, Jr., Bowling Green, Kentucky. Cameron Dudley, Greensburg, Kentucky. Grant Irvin, Uniontown, Kentucky. Darrell Essex, Loretto, Kentucky. Donald Farler, Hazard, Kentucky. Matthew Finzel, Louisville, Kentucky. Thomas Garrett, Flatwoods, Kentucky. Joseph Gabazak, Somerset, Kentucky. Randy Ginn, Milton, Kentucky. Scott Gold, Georgetown, Kentucky. Jeff Grinstead, Berea, Kentucky. Lanny Hancock, Monticello, Kentucky. Charles Harmon, Lex, Kentucky. Nathan Hall, Olive Hill, Kentucky. Tanner Harmon, Salvaza, Kentucky. Mike Harper, Ashland, Kentucky. Daniel Harris, Campton, Kentucky. 
Mary Ellen Hartley, Owensville, Kentucky. Philip High School, Bartstown, Kentucky. Alan Hershberger, Patriot, Ohio. Mark Hershberger, Apple Creek, Ohio. Jason Hill, Paducah, Kentucky. Henry Howard, South Shore, Kentucky. Brock Jensen, Vine Grove, Kentucky. Brandon Jones, Bardwell, Kentucky. Hobart Heath Keithley, Tberry, Kentucky. Aaron Kegley, Springfield, Kentucky. William Kidwell, Nicholasville, Kentucky. Kittrick Conning, Lafayette, Indiana. Andrew Kurtzendorfer, Louisville, Kentucky. Lawrence Limker, Falmouth, Kentucky. Ronald Logsdon, Stamping Ground, Kentucky. Brendan Loveless, LaGrange, Kentucky. Andrew Lucas, Louisville, Kentucky. Brandon Luloff, Marquesan, Wisconsin. Lakeland Lynch, Louisville, Kentucky. Matthew Maddox, Ulitic, Indiana. Matthew McCormick, Louisville, Kentucky. Daniel McMahon, Richmond, Kentucky. Jason Melis Mil Mal Mal oh, excuse me, Miliski, Paris, Kentucky. Daniel Miller, Munfordville, Kentucky. David Miller, Hebron, Kentucky. Wyatt Moody, Pleasureville, Kentucky. Jason Moore, Somerset, Kentucky. Rob Moore, California, Kentucky. Timothy Morris, Dry Ridge, Kentucky. Carly Nash, Brandenburg, Kentucky. Justin Netherton, Smiths Grove, Kentucky. Lee Nunn, Owensboro, Kentucky. Shelby Oakley, Olive Hill, Kentucky. Mason O'Connor, Pikeville, Kentucky. Perry Orndorff, Circleville, Ohio. Kelly Owens, London, Kentucky. Kent Palmore, Madisonville, Kentucky. Simone Parker, Frankfort, Kentucky. Theodore Peters, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Daniel Pierce, Mount Sherman, Kentucky. Billy Point, Point, Pointer, Waddy, Kentucky, excuse me. Aaron Quinn, London, Kentucky. Luke Perrot, LaGrange, Kentucky. Darwin Ratliff, Florence, Kentucky. Franklin Reinhard, Morganfield, Kentucky. William Roberts, Jr., Jr. Lexington, Kentucky. Dan Donald Reckers, Erlanger, Kentucky. Jeremy Schott, Bardstown, Kentucky. Alexander Shaw, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Andrew Shepard, David, Kentucky. Nicholas Savori, Lebanon Junction, Kentucky. Seth Smith, Corbin, Kentucky. Will Stallard, Danville, Kentucky. Woodson Stat Staten, Simpsonville, Kentucky. Craig Stevenson, Somerset, Kentucky. 
Ronald Stull III, Dry Ridge, Kentucky. John Taylor, Assam, Kentucky. Lawson Taylor, Hodgkinville, Kentucky. Charles Terrell, Cadez, Kentucky. Andrew Thacker, Pikeville, Kentucky. Brandon Thacker, Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Jacob Thayer, Somerset, Kentucky. George Thomas, Hyman, Kentucky. John Thomas, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. John Titchenor, Louisville, Kentucky. Glenn Trotman, West Seneca, New York. Christopher Whitman, Jupiter, Florida. David Williams, Williamsburg, Kentucky. Jonathan David Wilson, Pineville, Kentucky. Grover Wingo, Lexington, Kentucky. Kenny Woods, Alverton, Kentucky. Gregory Yandel, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Daniel Young, Campbellsburg, Kentucky. And now we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with Dr. Zilka and the second week of Cal Fire. Remember when every... Remember when everything under the sun was new? When a walk was an adventure to a magical place? A boat ride was a chance to play pirate? Freedom was riding your bike and making new friends. Every dinner was followed by dessert and the stars never shined so bright. They say this is making memories. You can work at home, play in Prestonsburg. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. Emergencies can't be avoided, but they can be prepared for. Starting at just $24.95 a month, Life Sentry from Microtech Security is a wearable device that notifies first responders when a user needs immediate attention. Don't live in fear of the worst. Be prepared. Call us today at 606-478-9100 to get started. Don't wait. For a limited time, you get your first month free and no installation charge. Shabby, dilapidated, or just plain ugly. Does your garage door need a makeover? Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky and Southern West Virginia can replace your door with a unique style designed specifically for your house. See how our exclusive styles can transform the look of your home at a lower cost than anyone around. And right now, buy a garage door and opener and receive a $200 rebate. Do you need a garage door makeover? Call Overhead Door for a garage door makeover. We'll come to you. Hey, Kentucky, oh, I know it's been a while. I've missed those rolling hills in your bluegrass, blue sky smile. Hey, Kentucky, where I was born and raised, you taught me to love and you taught me how to pray and appreciate all the little activity and history all come together on the country music highway visit cmh23.com and plan your next vacation
Hey, welcome back to the Elk Draw Reveal for 2020. Um, I need to let y'all know that in addition to this live stream, please visit fw.ky.gov and by Wednesday, May the 20th, you will be able to access the My Profile section to see if you were drawn. And now we're going to go in. Two. Again, this is Cal Firearm Week 2, Ronald Arnold. Salt Lake, Kentucky. Melanie Austin, Glasgow, Kentucky. Royce Bailey, Lancaster, Kentucky. Emma Barthel, Waco, Kentucky. Kevin Beam, Austin, Kentucky. William Beers, Walton, Kentucky. Dustin Begley, Campbellsville, Kentucky. Trevor Booth, Carlisle, Kentucky. Aaron Bringhurst, Bardstown, Kentucky. Wendell Brown, Breeding, Kentucky. Michael Bush, Abington, Virginia. Tyrell Byers, Burksville, Kentucky. Delbert Campbell, Clayhoe, Kentucky. Morgan Campbell, Frankfort, Kentucky. Larry Carr, Corneth, Kentucky. Raymond Carl, Carr, Elizabethan, Kentucky. Ian Cottell, Walton, Kentucky. Robert Cottle, Stanton, Kentucky. Madison Cecil, Lexington, Kentucky. Jacob Champion, Paducah, Kentucky. Brian Coles, Dexter, Kentucky. Thomas Compton, Warsaw, Kentucky. Jacob Coons, Fisherville, Kentucky. Brian Davidson, Louisa, Kentucky. Brandon Davison, Woolham, Kentucky. Dylan Dahl, Bedford, Kentucky. John Downs, West Union, Ohio. Robert Fackler, Hardensburg, Kentucky. Brian Fisher, Pineville, Kentucky. Christopher Floyd, Somerset, Kentucky. Brian Ford, Newport, Kentucky. Charles Allen Foster, Alexandria, Virginia. Don Foster, Richmond, Kentucky. Chris Fugit, I'm sorry, Curtis Fugit, Pikeville, Kentucky. Austin Garrett, Boonville, Kentucky. Christian Geiger, Poland, Indiana. Ethan Gold, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Todd Goodlett, Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Denver Gross, Bledsoe, Kentucky. David Hall, Bardstown, Kentucky. Christopher Hall, Springfield, Kentucky. Carly Harnd, Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Edward Hegler, Fort Worth, Texas. John Hill, Jr., Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Daniel Ingalls, Moorhead, Kentucky. Mandy Jackson, Hickory, Kentucky. James McLaughlin, Rutland, Vermont. Shelby Jett, Pee Wee Valley, Kentucky. Joshua Johns, Lexington, Kentucky. Brandon Johnson, Hazard, Kentucky. James Johnson, Chicago, Illinois. Stuart Jones, Brownsville, Kentucky. Judy Justice, Harold, Kentucky. Jared Kenner, Crittenden, Kentucky. Steve King, Willisburg, Kentucky. Lewis Cornman, Moorhead, Kentucky. Charles Lane, Wallingford, Kentucky. 
Skyler Likens, Salvisa, Salvisa, Kentucky. James Maggard, Olive Hill, Kentucky. Joshua Marson, Bowling Green, Kentucky. William Martin, Prospect, Kentucky. Kenneth Mathis, Hickman, Kentucky. Thomas Mate, Taylors, Taylorsville, Kentucky. Kara McCord, Butler, Kentucky. Nathan McKay, Louisville, Kentucky. John McKinney, Georgetown, Kentucky. Thomas Meredith, Louisville, Kentucky. Kenneth Mills, Flatlick, Kentucky. Derek Millett, Inez, Kentucky. Isaiah Montgomery, Willisburg, Kentucky. John Morgan, Glasgow, Kentucky. Michael Murphy, Lexington, Kentucky. Ben Nelson, Richmond, Kentucky. Kevin Newton, Round Hill, Kentucky. Curtis Niedermeyer, Benton, Kentucky. William Norton, Paris, Kentucky. David Oliver, Bardstown, Kentucky. Gary Ostrander, Bear Branch, Kentucky. Kyle Owens, Eastview, Kentucky. William Palmer, Cynthiana, Kentucky. Will Parker, Louisville, Kentucky. Matthew Payne, Walhalla, South Carolina. Malachi Piper, Edmonton, Kentucky. Matthew Pinkerton, Richmond, Kentucky. Matthew Plowman, Irving, Kentucky. David Pluff, Lockport, New York. Travis Pritchard, Taylorsville, Kentucky. Matthew Ramsey, Lewisport, Kentucky. Shelby Ray, Pee Wee Valley, Kentucky. Kyle Redfern, Newark, Ohio. Patricia Reynolds, Taylor Mill, Kentucky. Christian Rice, Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. Matthew Riley, Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Canyon Roach, Burksville, Kentucky. Brian Roberts, Elizabethan, Kentucky. George Robinson, London, Kentucky. Ronnie Robinson, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Michael Rogers, Russellville, Kentucky. William Ross, Villa Hills, Kentucky. Timothy Rosman, Dry Ridge, Kentucky. Richard Russell, Artemis, Kentucky. Hunter Schmittu, Russellville, Kentucky. Tanya Seward, Nicholasville, Kentucky. Paul Sizemore, Boonville, Kentucky. Mason Sloan, Lackey, Kentucky. Jason Steele, Greenville, Kentucky. Terry Stringer, Ledbetter, Kentucky. Nathaniel Sumi, Lexington, Kentucky. Brandon Thomas, Pine Top, Kentucky. Gerald Titus III, Charleston, West Virginia. Robbie Townsend, Stanton, Kentucky. Kevin Varney, Belfry, Kentucky. Todd Vetter, Burksville, Kentucky. Luke Walls, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Stephen Warren, Elizabethan, Kentucky. Brenton Way, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Chris Wells, Lewisburg, Kentucky. 
Brad Wigglesworth, Cynthiana, Kentucky. Christopher Wills, Stamping Ground, Kentucky. Orville Wynant, Danvin, West Virginia. Jimmy Yates, Jr., Winchester, Kentucky. Stephen Zupa, Moorhead, Kentucky. That concludes the Cal Firearm Week 2. Uh, after we come back from the break, we'll have uh, Trinity Shepard here to talk to us about elk hunting. Thank you. power to bring us together even when we're far apart. We keep families connected. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Hey Kentucky, oh I know it's been a while. I've missed those rolling hills in your bluegrass blue skies. Outdoor activity and history all come together on the Country Music Highway. Visit cmh23.com and plan your next vacation. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey. One to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. Here at Microtech Security, we strive to provide peace of mind through a safer, smarter home backed by quality, reliable customer service. We are a local company with local people that are here to serve your home and businesses with the top products in the security industry. We have monitoring services available starting as low as $19.95 a month. Call us today to discuss our bundling options. 606-478-9100. With Microtech, security is a family matter. Um, in addition to this live stream, please visit fw.ky.gov and by Wednesday, May the 20th, you will be able to access the My Profile section to see if you were drawn. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to bring up a friend, not only a working uh, relationship that we have also, and his name is Trini Shepard. He is a member of the Kentucky Elk Guide Association, and he is going to come tell us about the service elephus. Is that correct, Trini? Service elephants? Well, I'm not known for my, my intelligence, so. Trinity Shepherd. All right, it is a pleasure to be here. I tell you, like you said, my name is Trinity Shepherd, and I am here to represent the Kentucky Elk Guide Association. Uh, I am also the owner of TLC Outfitters, and I have been um, dealing with elk now for a little over 16 years, not only as a private business, but also in my career with Kentucky State Parks. Uh, very honored, very humbled to be here. There's a lot of people that could be here uh, speaking today. And uh, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Kentucky Park Fish and Wildlife, our commissioner, Commissioner Storm, our uh, commission members that are here, Mountain Art Center. Just a great place to be at the Mountain Art Center today here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. What a great place we live in and what a great event to be able to come and, uh, and share in and share with you all at home or wherever you may be. First of all, congratulations to everybody that's been drawn. 
Don't know if you realize it or not, I'm sure the majority of you do, but you have been drawn for the hunt of a lifetime. Kentucky elk hunting is like nothing anywhere that you could ever go to and experience. It is something that you will talk about uh, for the rest of your life. And uh, I tell you what, it, it's just amazing. Uh, as I sat back here and I, I heard some of my family members and friends being drawn, I mean, I'm just elated for them. And, and also for everybody, because I know what you're getting ready to go through. It's gonna be the high of the highs. There may be some lows, but most importantly, it's about creating memories with the people that you care about and sharing in the history of this great restoration project. And you not only are a hunter by number, but you also are a part of the great Commonwealth of Kentucky and its success that is the Kentucky Elk Restoration. Huge thank you to everybody that is part of that and allow us to do what we do. So I'm here today to represent our Kentucky Elk Guide Association. For those of you all that don't know, it is an association of guides and outfitters that come together with a common uh, interest and a common concern about our resources, not only elk, but all of our wildlife and uh, fish resources. Uh, but most importantly, or, or the number one thing that we uh, uh, kind of focus on, of course, is our elk herd. Kentucky has a great start with our elk herd. We have, uh, you know, numerous years of success, not only with the restoration project itself, but also with hunting, conservation. Uh, you know, anybody you talk to across the United States, they know something about the Kentucky elk uh, herd and the success that they've had with it. So, you know, to be able to be part of the Kentucky Elk Guy Association, taking uh, what we do to the next level and also to be able to, you know, tell people, hey, we're right there with you. We're not just here for the almighty dollar. We're not here for fame. We're not here for fortune. We're not here for anything, but to make sure that this precious resource goes on to the next generation is the most important thing. So our, our children's children's children will be able to enjoy this great resource that so many women and men have put so much effort into to protect and not only that to get here. The story of our Kentucky elk is phenomenal and uh, I hope that you all share the same common interest. If you do, be sure to check us out on our Facebook page, Kentucky Elk Guide Association. Now, of course, with everything that's been going on in the world today, you know, we're kind of, we've been held back from having meetings and doing things, but before long, being as resilient as this great United States that we have is, we'll be back to normal hopefully before long. We'll be able to have those meetings. And you don't have to be a guide to be part of the Kentucky Elk Guide Association. You can actually be a member of that. And you can also show concern, help us work towards uh, uh, making this resource uh, bigger and better and also make sure that it goes on to the next generation. So now you got a tag, and now what are you going to do? I know some of y'all may be veteran hunters. Some of y'all may have been drawn before. Some of y'all may have been out west. But some of you have never even uh, drawn an elk tag or elk, have hunted elk anywhere, uh, and that's what we're here for. That's what the Kentucky Elk Guide Association is here for. Not only the Kentucky Elk Guide Association, but our uh, Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife also has a wealth of knowledge. The first thing I would urge you to do, if you're wondering about anything, is to go to the department website. Go to fw.ky.gov. There is so many resources on that website for you to be able to read and just to get some basic knowledge. There's a lot of good literature on there, and uh, that's a good place to start. If you're wondering where to start, that's where I would tell you to start. The second thing is, is maybe you know somebody that's been drawn and that's had success. I urge you to talk to those people because those people have been there and done that. They know the ups, they know the downs, and that's a great insight. The next thing I would tell you to do is, you know what, if you, you'll get a guides list or, or you'll be able to search for guides and outfitters in the state of Kentucky. When you do that, you want to do some homework. You want to make sure that they are credible. Now, it's just like anything, you know, there's good, there's not so good. You know, it only takes one bad apple to run the whole bushel. So when you are looking for an outfitter, and that's not just in Kentucky, that's anywhere you go. When you look for an outfitter, you make sure you do your homework, you ask for references, you check out their background, you make sure that they are a reputable company before you sink this hunt of a lifetime into their hands 
and uh, and let them take control. So you want to make sure you do your homework. Now, that's a good place to start. So the next big question is, for some of you, some of you all probably already have been planning this for the last, mm, since 2001, like some of us have. But the big question about Kentucky elk hunt is do it yourself versus guided. Now, if you're looking for that answer here today, you're not going to find that in Trinity Shepherd. Okay? Now, you might be saying, well, you're a guide. You're an outfitter. Well, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that guide, a guided hunt is the way for everybody. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that do-it-yourself is the way for everybody because it's not. To each their own. And I'm not here to advocate but to educate and hopefully give you a good start. I can sit here and talk about elk for the rest of the afternoon. But I hope to spark something in you that maybe can be interesting or help you along the way to be able to maybe have a key to success. So to start with, let's talk about the dreaded guide. You know, there's a lot of stereotypes, there's a lot of negativity about uh, using a guide for your Kentucky elk hunt or any hunt, uh, you know, at that. Like I said, the most important thing is, is that you do your homework, all right? There's a lot, a lot of credible guides. If you decide, guide, if you don't have the time to put into scouting, if you don't have the time to, you know, maybe you live in western Kentucky or northern Kentucky, central Kentucky, you live a far distance away in another state, Maybe you want to talk to some guides. You can fill them out and just see kind of what they have to offer. Then you can check their uh, references. But I can't sit here and tell you that's the way to go, but you want to make sure that you do your homework. Check out numerous. Don't just pick one. Check out numerous ones if you're not familiar with one or you're comfortable with one. But there's a lot of stereotypes that guides are just out for the almighty dollar. Guides are not about the resource. Can I sit here and say that everybody is good? or that everybody is bad, no, I cannot. But I'll tell you a good place to start is the Kentucky Elk Guide Association. We'll go to that uh, Facebook page and say, hey, I just got drawn for a Kentucky Elk Tag. I need some information. And you will have a host of creditable, experienced guides on there that will shoot you all kinds of information, not advocating for themselves, but putting you in your hunt, number one, which is the most important thing, you and the resource, number one, and, and helping you out every step of the way. The Kentucky Elk Guide Association is there for you, okay? So fill out the guides, talk to a lot of them, see what works best for you or if that's the way it goes. Then I have a lot of people say about do-it-yourself hunts. There's a lot of people that have success at do-it-yourself hunts. Here's what I have to say about do it yourself. There's a lot of work that goes into a Kentucky elk hunt. You know, Kentucky elk have evolved. They have changed over the time that they have been here. You know, when Kentucky's elk herd was first introduced and uh, they were locked down a little bit more, they were in larger herds, they were on more accessible areas. Kentucky elk hunting back then was a lot different than it is today. Maybe you could say that it was a little bit easier, but it's not that way today. These Kentucky elk have been born and bred, bred and born right here in the mountains of eastern Kentucky, and they are no longer that way. You no longer find the big large amounts or large numbers of herds, you know, where they're herded up in different areas. Now they're in small pockets. Our Kentucky elk herd is taken to the timber more. They're no longer standing out. They understand dangers that uh, wait for them. And, and, and what they could uh, happen to them here in eastern Kentucky. So it's no longer like, as some people say, shooting fish in the barrel. They're not just going to jump in the truck and lay down and let you take them home. You have to do your homework. And it's like the old saying goes, the more you put in is the more you will get out. You cannot wait to September or even August, September, October, November, or December and decide to take interest into your Kentucky elk hunt. Your Kentucky elk hunt starts today, especially if you're going to do it yourself. You know, Kentucky elk hunt takes land. Once again, fw.ky.gov has a great amount of uh, information on there about different lands that maybe you can access. Public lands, lands that's going to be coming open on specific draws that maybe you can get in on another draw and sele get selected for a specific piece of land. There's a lot of land that the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife has that is quality land that you may have a chance to get on. All that's on the website. 
So if you're going to do it yourself, you're going to have to spend some time. You're going to have to scout. You're going to have to talk to people. You're going to have to spend some time in eastern Kentucky. You're going to have to know some folks down here. But do-it-yourself hunts are great. It is possible. It just depends on what, uh, what you can and can't do, the time you have to spend down here um, or not. So, you know, that's the biggest thing about it. And, and then I'll leave you with this. I can say, like I said, I can sit here and talk all day about my favorite, one of my favorite subjects, Kentucky elk. But here's the most important thing. If I have any advice to hunters, especially those that have never hunted Kentucky elk, don't get caught up in antler scores if you got a bull tag. Don't get caught up in just the harvest. Your hunt, sadly, will come and go all too soon. Slow down. You have waited all of these years. Maybe some of y'all have put in since 2001, since the first drop. Maybe this is your first year. It doesn't matter which one of those is true. Slow down. Enjoy your hunt. Enjoy what God has gave us. Take part in what the great men and women of Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife has given us an opportunity to be able to enjoy, and you will get the most out of your hunt. One more time, make sure you do your homework. Make sure you put in as much as you can of your effort. Get as much knowledge because as much as you can get, it won't ever be enough. You want to get all the knowledge that you can. And slow down and enjoy this hunt of a lifetime. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mayor, for letting me come today. Thank you, Kentucky Elk Guide Association. Our, our hearts, our minds, our prayers go out to our president, Donald Thomas, uh, in their time of, uh, of tragedy uh, as they lost their son. And uh, we just want him to know that we care about him very much. We love him very much. And we will continue to pray and hope that you do for comfort for, uh, for the family of Donald Thomas. And thank you, everybody. All of you t uh, 2020 elk hunters, welcome to elk country. Hey Kentucky, oh I know it's been a while I've missed those rolling hills in your bluegrass blue skies and history all come together on the Country Music Highway. Visit cmh23.com and plan your next vacation. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country and their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. Overhead Door, a garage door company that has been with your family from the beginning, through all the ups and downs of life, from the small repairs to making your vision a reality. Overhead Door, your trusted garage door expert since 1921. Be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door service.
Welcome back. 2020 Elk. In addition to this live stream, please visit fw.ky.gov and by Wednesday, May the 20th, you will be able to access the My Profile section to see if you were drawn. And again, today's unveiling will be observed by the accounting firm of Blue & Company. Blue & Company is a regional firm with over 400 professionals serving clients in Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. Blue & Company has been engaged by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources to verify the results of the 2020 elk draw. So we're going to go into the uh, bull firearm week one. And I just want to uh, say right now how happy that we are it's here at the Mountain Arts Center. And we want to thank Commissioner Strong for coming up and speaking and Trinity and helping us out. All right, bull firearm week one. Drew Armar, Louisville, Kentucky. John Bagby, Campbellsville, Kentucky. Ethan Blanford, Owensboro, Kentucky. Arthur John Bowles, Somerset, Kentucky. Daniel Brown, Mount Washington, Kentucky. Micah Brown, Somerset, Kentucky. John Brunel, Boonville, Kentucky. Bobby Butler, Louisville, Kentucky. William Campbell, South Bend, Indiana. Charles Castle, Winchester, Kentucky. Charles Baker, Murray, Kentucky. Brandon Kloss, Foster, Kentucky. Kenneth Cozing, Sparta, Kentucky. William Dameron, Pikeville, Kentucky. James Davis, Jr., Lancaster, Kentucky. Justin Deep, Lexington, Kentucky. Randall Delaney, Williamstown, Kentucky. Kevin Dale, Hazel Green, Kentucky. Tony Epling, Elkhorn City, Kentucky. Frank Farmer, North Augusta, South Carolina. Martin Frakes III, Mount Washington, Kentucky. Frank Fuller, Keeville, Kentucky. Rodney Griffith, Jackson, Kentucky. James Hahn, Frankfort, Kentucky. Grover Holt, Shanks, West Virginia. Samuel Hubbard, Manchester, Kentucky. Hunter Johnson, Allensville, Kentucky. James Johnson, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Edward Jones, Delta, Pennsylvania. Michael Keeling, Paducah, Kentucky. David Kelly, Smithland, Kentucky. Danny Kidd, Dana, Kentucky. Christopher Cluck, Owensboro, Kentucky. Terry Knifley, Liberty, Kentucky. Ezra Knight, Hazard, Kentucky. Timothy Leith, Roth, Rothschild, Wisconsin. Alexander Love, Alvington, Kentucky. Scott Malone, Crestwood, Kentucky. Chaz Matthews, Union, Kentucky. Kelly Maynard, Pilgrim, Kentucky. James McQueen, Crab Orchard, Kentucky. Kyle Meredith, Morgantown, Kentucky. John Miller, Columbia, Kentucky. Chuck Morris, Making, Kentucky. Ronald Morris, Danville, Kentucky. Joshua Murphy, Owensboro, Kentucky. Dylan Perkins, Science Hill, Kentucky. James Hoare, Monticello, Kentucky. Jeffrey Reed, Sitka, Kentucky. Travis Robertson, Boaz, Kentucky. Dwight Robinson, Manchester, Kentucky. Timothy Rogers, Brandenburg, Kentucky. Ronnie Ron Stewart, Hazard, Kentucky. James Royal, Berea, Kentucky. 
James, James Rusick, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ivan Shell, Louisville, Kentucky. Jeffrey Schneider, Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. David Schneider, Melbourne, Kentucky. Anthony Schwesinger, Frankfort, Kentucky. Harold Sharp, Jr., Eminence, Kentucky. Michael W. Small, Princeton, West Virginia. Ray Smith, Decoy, Kentucky. Joshua Smith, Lexington, Kentucky. Patrick Smith, Walton, Kentucky. April Spears, Drakesboro, Kentucky. Jake Stamps, Shepherdsville, Kentucky. Jan Stevens, Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Christopher Stewart, Olive Hill, Kentucky. William Talley II, Keeville, Kentucky. Howell Thomas, Fort Wright, Kentucky. Dennis Turner, London, Kentucky. Melissa Turner, Benton, Kentucky. Jack Willard, Mount Washington, Kentucky. Joseph Williams, Fredonia, Kentucky. Noah Wills, Frankfort, Kentucky. And that concludes the week one bull firearm. Just a minute, Dr. Zilk will be up to take us home with week two. Hey, Kentucky. Oh, I know it's been a while. I've missed those rolling hills in your bluegrass, blue sky smile. Hey, Kentucky. Where I was born and raised, you taught me activity and history all come together on the country music highway visit cmh23.com and plan your next vacation here at microtech security we strive to provide peace of mind through a safer smarter home backed by quality reliable customer service we are a local company with local people that are here to serve your home and businesses with the top products in the security industry. We have monitoring services available starting as low as $19.95 a month. Call us today to discuss our bundling options. 606-478-9100. With Microtech, security is a family matter. By now, it's no secret. When you bundle your internet, TV, and phone, you get more with cable. And when you compare the internet speeds that cable delivers, well, there really is no comparison. Get more speed, more options, and value when you bundle Gearheart Internet, HDTV, and phone. Broadband bundles starting at only $100 per month. What are you waiting for? Call Gearheart Broadband at 1-800-635-7052 today. Announce the Bull Firearm Week 2 winners. Donald Allen, Louisville, Kentucky. Eric Armitage, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Gregory Bickett, Bardstown, Kentucky. Jeremiah Braden, Ashland, Kentucky. William A. Byrne, Owensboro, Kentucky. 
Matthew Caldwell, Bledsoe, Kentucky, Scott Campbell, Paducah, Kentucky, Thomas Cantwell, LaGrange, Kentucky, Joshua Cottle, Stanford, Kentucky, Rory Charles, Florence, Kentucky, Mitchell Clark, Campbellsville, Kentucky, Dallas Collette, London, Kentucky, Stephanie Collins, London, Kentucky, Donald Criswell, Somerset, Kentucky, Lindy Crompton, Frankfort, Kentucky, Ryan Davis, West Liberty, Kentucky, Chase Davis, Benton, Kentucky, Thomas Dean, Winchester, Kentucky, Jason Dudley, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, James Dye, McDowell, Kentucky, James Gibson, Somerset, Kentucky, Adam Goodlett, Madisonville, Kentucky, Ronald Greenwell, Bloomfield, Kentucky, David R. Greer, Jr., Brandenburg, Kentucky, Raymond Griffey, Hazard, Kentucky, Timothy Harp, Hazard, Kentucky, James Harper, Olmstead, Kentucky, David Hines, Pendleton, Kentucky, Christopher Houston, Hager Hill, Kentucky, Andrew Jackson, Lancaster, Kentucky, Corey Gerald, Dana, Kentucky, Kevin Jump, Harlan, Kentucky, Ryan Kitchen, Grayson, Kentucky, Casey Knott, Brandenburg, Kentucky, Chancellor Larvick, Simpsonville, Kentucky, Robert Lepley, LaGrange, Kentucky, John Parker Mahorny, Union, Kentucky, Michael Manning, Verona, Kentucky, Lester Markham, Corbin, Kentucky, Brian Miller, Scottsville, Kentucky, James Massifty, Lindenville, Kentucky, Raleigh Osborne, Boonville, Kentucky, Jason Owens, London, Kentucky, William Page, Lexington, Tennessee, Trey Paternoster, London, Kentucky, Matthew Pelton, Wintonsville, Kentucky, Jordan Peterson, Meridian, Iowa, William Poole, Corbin, Kentucky, Aaron Power, Elkton, Kentucky, Billy Pride, Sturgis, Kentucky, Thomas Rack, Louisville, Kentucky, Skylar Reese, Edmonton, Kentucky, Zachary Reese, Richmond, Kentucky, Larry Rourke, Tollsboro, Kentucky, Larry Schwartz, Reed, Kentucky, Cody Seacum, Missoula, Montana, Leland Sexton, Jr., Grayson, Kentucky, David Shearer III, Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, Stanley Smith, Smith, Kentucky, Roger Smith, Georgetown, Kentucky, Hurley Smith, Jr., Jackson, Kentucky, Michael Stubbs, Corinth, Kentucky, Joshua Tarter, Nicholsville, Kentucky, Cody Thompson, Owingsville, Kentucky, Richard Townsend, Winchester, Kentucky, Austin Turner, Montgomery, Alabama, Mary Van Horn, Louisa, Kentucky, Ryan Varney, Belfry, Kentucky, Rocky Wagers, London, Kentucky, Sydney Wall, Houston, Texas, Robert Wells, Hebron, Kentucky, Lucas Whittle, Jamestown, Kentucky, Christopher Wilson, Campbellsville, Kentucky, Stephen Winchester, Danville, Kentucky, Canton Whitmer, Gladstone, Missouri. And that concludes the Bull Firearms Week 2. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we want to thank you all for coming out and, uh, or not for coming out, but for tuning in and watching the um, 2020 Elk Draw Reveal. Again, we want to thank the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife and we want to thank everyone that has put so much effort into it, the employees here at the Mountain Art Center, Trinity coming up and speaking to us, and uh, 
we really want to appreciate the uh, Fish and Wildlife for bringing the elk up. Uh, it gives you some idea. I'm 6'4", if that tells you anything. So that tells you about how big an elk actually is. Thank you for tuning in. Please know that you can tune in to fw.ky.gov. And by Wednesday, May the 20th, you will be able to access the My Profile section to see if you were drawn. Thank you all.